In this video, I'm going to be covering pretty much everything to do with the AD-RW900 recorder, whether it's tape, USB, or playback and recording of a CD. We're going to run through the lot. First of all, let's start round the back to actually show you what connections are available. Here we have a digital in via the optical and a USB to connect directly to a PC. On the analog side, we have the standard line in and line out, which you find on all cassette decks, but also there is a direct turntable connection with a ground lead. This enables you to record directly from a turntable straight into the ADRW900. Also on the front of the unit, there is a USB connection and a headphone socket. First, let's cover what we've actually got on the tape deck. It's auto reverse, so you can play in both directions without having to turn the tape over. Also, you have your standard pause, stop, fast forward, and fast rewind. And there is also the added features of Dolby noise reduction and the auto reverse mode, which allows you to play one way, then stops or both sides and stops, or repeat. The headphone socket ha does have its own level control. So if you want to closely monitor what you're recording, then you have the facility to do so. The display window will clearly show you the tape length counter and also the left and right dB meter for playback and recording. So the first thing we're going to do is actually record from the tape to a blank disc. This will enable you to back up your old library of tapes that you cherish into a new digital format, which you will then be able to play on other CD players around the house. With the blank disc going into the machine, we need to allow the machine to settle down because it needs to recognize that it's a blank disc and then it will allow us to get ready to record. Now the CD recorder has actually recognised that there is a blank disc inside, we're ready to record from the tape. Firstly, we need to actually set up the source that you actually want to record onto the disc. So just by hitting the record button, it will actually tell you to select source. You scroll through to tape, hit record, and it will put the unit into an automatic record pause state, ready to go. And then it's just a simple case of pressing record again and it will actually start to transfer the information off the old analog tape onto the blank CD. And also manually add in tracks as the CD is burning or alternatively it will actually look for silent areas. An extended silent area it will automatically add the next track into the system. Another thing that you need to be aware of is the recording volume. Try to keep the bouncing meters below zero. This will prevent distortion. Failure to finalize the disc may result in the disc being unplayable in other CD players. If you wanted to, you could also copy a CD onto analog tape. There's probably less need to do this nowadays, but the function is still there for you. The ADRW900 also has the ability to playback music files from a USB stick. There is also the ability to pull off the metadata. So as you can see on the display, I have actually playing an audio book called The Dark Side of the Sun by Wilbur Smith. Another benefit of the USB port is the fact that you can record from the tape directly to the USB in MP3 mode. It follows the same process as if you were recording to the CD, except you would press the USB record button after you've selected the tape as the source. Once you've selected the source, it's a simple case of just pressing the USB record button. It then needs to prepare itself, as you can see on the display, and then shortly after, giving you a real-time count on the right-hand side and then the tape length on the left. The flashing USB record light indicates that it's in a record pause mode. 
and all you'd actually need to do is press the record button again and it will start the whole process and you get a solid red light telling you that it's recording and then the display will give you the tape length and the real time of recorded data onto the USB stick. Last but not least, the AD-RW900 has the ability to back up your CDs to USB. You just need to follow the same process as we have done previously. You select the USB record, it has to prepare, you then select the source that you want to record from, in this case it's CD, and just press the USB record button again, and it will transfer the information from the CD to the USB in real time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video about the TIEC AD-RW900, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.